What's the word? What's the word? It's your boy, you wait six for another flame. was popping, homies, ladies, youngsters, olders, and OG like me. <clears throat> this episode is simple. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of guys don't like to do these type of videos, and I know a lot of um, waivers don't like to do this, but this 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 video right now is for Crown. I'm gonna um I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the crown, but the main reason why I'm making this video is um uh, for the waivers for the beginners. Okay, if you're elite waiver, my respect for you. But this is for the beginners. If you um in the process to be in waiver, and you know what I'm saying from zero guard, and your head's growing and you ain't developing your wave pattern, whatever pattern you chose, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. This is for 540. I have a 540 slanted, 540 it is slanted, and I'm working on my crown. Once again, I'm, I'm gonna say a few videos until I get my my pattern um, like before. I took a, a break, like three months. I didn't brush my hair. I had a mini fro. I was just doing a little tape of fro's and shit. And I came back and my, my waves right now, they trash. You know what I'm saying? They, they no good, so. Don't judge my waves, I just came back to the game. I wanna make these videos for my beginners and for my elite waivers, if you wanna watch it, thank you. And for my beginners, it's for you. I'm in the beginning stage uh, again, so I'm working on my crown. I'm trying to better my crown, perfect it, and to make it more visible. I cut it too with the grain, so my hair is low. The reason why I cut it low, is I wanna be able to brush, you know, so get my sections in. And I want to be able to um, enhance my powder and my crown. So I just came out of work. So my, I had this door for like eight hours already. So my hair right now is super late. As you can see, I got two crown patches. So apply more pressure to my crown. You guys can do this. If you don't got a crown patch, um, you could create one with a door that you don't use. Make sure it's a silky do right not a poly okay so this is my work this is what i did yesterday i did a brush section um i did a video yesterday too by the way um eight angles breakdown um the video came out kind of messed up because the reason why i messed up i forgot um the camera it was too low so i wasn't recording my top of the pattern so this is what i'm working with My pattern. All right. close-up so you guys can see um, so I always start with the comb even though I don't have a lot of hair but I always start with the comb and I'm not using I'm not using no um, pomades to be honest I know I know we supposed to for your crown use pomades to hold your crown down but honestly me i don't i don't believe that you need to use a lot of pomades to hold your crown the reason why i believe i believe by brushing you could uh you could fix your crown the reason why i said that because i've been brushing for one year i've been waving for one year and to be honest, you don't need a lot of products as long as you brush. Your hair sneak the product, of course. You need the oils, you know, after you do washing style, because the shampoo takes away all the 
vitamins for your hair. I understand that, but for you to um to have better ways, you don't really need to use pomades. To be honest, I just uh, the way that people make their money. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, you don't. I got like I got like five pomades there that I don't use. I got the 360 style, I barely use it. I got a 360 style, then the black one, the light one. I got Morris, everybody knows Morris. You know, and to be honest, I don't use it. Why? Because the key's to brush. As long as you brush, that's the key of having waves. If you brush, your hair get, wake, get, get waved up. So it's real simple, man. You don't really need to put pomades, a lot of oils, and this and that. Just got a brush, man. Uh, that's what I learned so far, you know? You don't really need a lot of pomades, a lot of this, a lot of that. Well, it worked for me. I'm talking, I'm talking based on my experience, you know? If you guys want to go out there and spend your money and a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody hustle. It's a lot of waves out here, you know, they sell products and stuff. <clears throat> I believe in moisturizers. I believe in oils, you know, soap, you know, the bar soap, shampoo. I believe those items, but pomades, you don't really need to use a lot of pomades. Pomades only you use in the beginning stage, like when you ripple, you wanna make sure you hold your hair down, you know. But the main key, to be honest, is brushing. You brush and you comb, exactly what I'm doing right now. Before section, you comb. Cause comb help you a lot by connections. Comb help you a lot, you know. All those little hairs that, you know, they down. Right now my hair is sleeping, so I'm waking my hair up, so. As you can see, I'm doing a session with the comb. Yeah, I know my hair is kind of on. I told my barber not to put moves, man. When I had waves, I used to, I used to put a lot of moves, you know, to keep your hair down. Moves is like Morris, and he did that. Look at my hair now. I got, I just washed my hair man, on Friday. I gotta wash it this Friday. I do it weekly. Sometimes I do it twice a week, but my hair right now is it's not too dirty, so needle drop is not too dirty. So yeah. That's what you gotta do. Just do a section with the comb. You know when you if you've been with the do-rack all day, just do a section with it. You don't really, you don't really need a lot of pomades, man. As long as you brush, you be all right. Okay. Clean things up. So I'm gonna do a small section with the crown, okay? I'm gonna have it like this, but when they re when they finish the video, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna close it in. You know what I'm saying? But. This is how I brush mine. First, I start from the outside like this. Don't say not too fast. Because remember, the waves get bigger. So, like that. I use the tip of the brush, okay? You see, when I get close inside my crown, use the tip of the brush. To be honest, for me, the hardest the hardest part to um, swerving my crown is being here, right here in this side, which is my right side. Cause right here, you put it down, right straight down, and then you gotta, boom, lock it in, you know, like this. So that's how I rush my crown. I come from here, 
down, right? And then you see, back it in. And then right here, up, because it's below your crown. That's how far forward it is, below your crown. Up, which is straight forward. And then, again, like that. And repeat the same steps. You see, I'm using back of the brush for that corner. Then boom, I come in back of the brush. I want to change it to the front of the brush. Forward. It's the front of the brush. I'm, I'm below the crown, you see? I'm below the crown, pushing forward. And then, boom, to the right, and go with my pattern. And that's how I, that's how I do my crown, you know what I'm saying? You could do a section five, 10 minutes and then go around your pattern. That's what I always do. Do rep. The key of being elite is to repeat the same steps. You gotta be repetitive, you know what I'm saying? Burst the same way. Make sure you remember the same angles. And I was gonna tell you this. Remember the same angles, man. It's like having a, a regular day, waking up at seven in the morning or going to the gym a certain time and do this and that. Trust me, when you keep that same calendar, it's gonna be a day that you don't go to the gym, you're gonna feel kinda of awkward. You're like, damn, fuck, I'm missing the weight, you know what I'm saying? I'm missing running, I'm missing doing push-ups. It's the same thing, you get your body used to it. So it's the same with the brushing, you know what I'm saying? You, every day you brush the same way, the same way. There's no reason for you to get forks. Right now my waist is trash, I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I haven't brushed in three months. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even cut my hair. I, ha I had three months of brushing, or three months of, of wolfing, and when I came back, I decided to, to brush, and this is what I got. So I didn't want to scalp, so. It's cool, they don't look that bad, but I got a lot of work to do. Okay, you see right here, this is my hottest part right here. So what I'm doing is, these waves right here, I'm pushing it for like this. Cause that's how you brush 540. This is close to the crown, so when you go to the bottom, it's like this. See how it is? So the closer you get, you see, boom. So all these right here, I gotta brush the same way. So the crown is smaller, so you gotta be really gentle. Brush, I'm using back of the brush, and then like I told you, front of the brush. If you don't got this brush, you could use your, your regular brush, or you could use a, a toothbrush. Straight slanting, then boom. I push it the same way. The same way I'm brushing my hair. Just inside your crown. Boom. It's gonna get used to it. And it's gonna go the way you want it. Cause you're training him to do the same thing every day. Every time you're brushing, you're brushing the same way. Even though he don't want to, he's gonna have no choice but to go that way, like the Migo says. So, oh, same thing, all over, underneath, right below the crown, boom, just brush it over. Brush it over, do the same thing, then go outside a little bit, because it's gonna get messy. the same thing it's 
Same process, repeat the same process. Don't get discouraged, man, just, just keep pushing. And take your little break, cause your arm's gonna hurt. Maybe for me, cause I'm fat, so. But that's, that's how you do it, that's the 540. 360 beehive, um, I think 360 beehive for me, for me 360 beehive is more simple cause you're not swirling your crown, you're opening your crown. So when you're opening your crown, it's easier. You know what I'm saying? For me. So when I do a section with the crown, this is a medium by the way, this is a medium, uh, medium soft. Okay, remember do your angles by section and don't brush it, just focus and show you always brush the same, don't overlap your angles and when I say overlap your angles, don't wrap this angle then bring it all the way here, do by sections, stay there and then go to the next one and then go to the next one and to the next one. That way everything stays the same and your puzzle is gonna get complete and everything is gonna look connecting. It looks weird at the beginning because you're doing it by section and boom, boom, boom. But as soon as your patterns start coming up, like your ripple stage, you wanna start seeing the flowing. Don't grab the brush and come from here all the way dragging like this. That's no good. You're gonna have massive forks your waves is gonna look ugly. It's gonna, everything's gonna be crashing with each other. So you don't want that, so. This is for people that really wanna have dope waves. You know what I'm saying? Really wanna, you know what I'm saying? Feel, you know when you feel yourself, you accomplish something, you'll be like, yes, it's looking good. It's like when you go get a haircut, you know? You wanna look good, so. This is the way I brush my 540. As you can see, Right here, I'm putting the brush right here. Why? Because this side, I brush the side different. Right here, every time I brush my back right here, I finish here. So from here down, it's a different section. If you look at my brush, look, you can see. That's where I put the brush and I brush forward. And I don't brush fast. If you wanna brush fast, it's cool, but make sure you don't overlap your angles. You see, I don't need to rush faster than this. This is enough for me, so I'm able to see what I'm doing. And I know a lot of guys is gonna be like, yo, OG just waves. Yeah, I understand just waves, but a lot of waves out there, trust me, I work at Home Depot, bro. And uh, I see a lot of waves in my, in, in my store where I work at. And don't waves is trash, you know what I'm saying? They just fronting with the dual rack, acting like, you know what I'm saying, they got waves. But when they take the dual rack off, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, and every time I take my dual rack off, and my waves is trash right now, and I still get compliments. So, you do the math. If you're gonna do something, do it right. If you're gonna go all out, do it right. That's all I'm saying. I'm not perfect, you don't have to be perfect, but you can get close to. So I'll sell a brush right here. I'll go under the crown, forward, which is slanted. 